Mog. The Deacon, what's up, man? Shalom, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Oh man, as best as I can be in this in this condition of our people. So, dude, I'm on the fringes, part of the pun of this movement. Um, so I've kind of interacted with certain Hebrew Israelite groups, and my channel name is called The Mind of God. I just have a question related to this slaves in heaven uh -huh. concept. So I think the the thing that I boiled it down to is there's a major difference between myself and other people about uh, the two witnesses. So uh, do you have a you have a minute to talk about that first? Okay, uh, the mind of God. I see you right here. This is you with a uh, nine nine six subscribers. That's me. Yeah. Okay. So, are you a Christian or? No, I I, I accept a lot of the teachings that uh, that you guys share. What's your ethnicity? I would say you get you guys would call me an Elamite. Oh, Elam. Oh, so you've been studying, huh? So you're <laughs> East Indian. You're East Indian or Persian? Um, East Indian. He's thinking, okay. So so you wanna you wanna talk about who the two witnesses are from your perspective or from mine? Well, no, I think it relates to the slaves in heaven because my understanding of the two witnesses is that they're actually two men. Okay. Well let let's hear I, I got some time. I got a little time. Yeah. So I'll I'll give you I'll give you a few minutes to to go into it. Go ahead. So Acts 111, you know, when um Yahushua was taken away. Uh, two men were standing there, you know, in white. And then they said that the reciprocal event is going to happen when he returns. And I take that literally. And then I was told on the first day of this year that um, Revelation 11 is the fulfillment of those two men when he returns. OK, let, let me let me just make sure I'm walking with you. Yeah. Acts 111 is the two witnesses spoken of in Revelation 11. This is what you're saying. Yeah. OK, let me let me just pull it up. Acts 111. Or representative of them. What? What? Okay, so now, now that's different though. A representation and then something actually being something is is, is two different things. Right. Yeah, we can we can pull it up first, but I think um, who they are is not explicit. I would say they're Moses and Elijah. I think it's very clear from Revelation eleven, just based mm -hmm. on the, you know, the powers that they've had in the past and how it's consistent with what's written there. So. That's who I would say they are. Okay, so that's interesting because you're not you're not. It's not a bugged out statement to say that these two men standing by in white apparel could be the two witnesses, but I don't see evidence of it. Uh, but I can see how one could assert that or draw a conclusion. Okay, fair enough. So just so you, like it just FYI in case people are receiving this as well, you know, and this I, I could be wrong. I'm not obviously certain of this, but uh, what I was told then is that those individuals, those two men will be administering the plagues in Revelation 16. So that earthquake that happens at the end of Revelation 11 and 16 are the same. And so Moses and Elijah will be here in America, dark skinned men, and they will be tormenting the world. That's why the world is going to hate them. You know, okay. that's what it says in Revelation 11, that the whole world's going to rejoice and send packages and all that kind of stuff. OK, so your whole I could I could contest that because not even confrontationally, because this isn't even nothing to argue about. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'll just give you our understanding. We don't sure. believe that that there's going to be two individuals in the end times. We believe that that is talking about Moses and Elijah, but we believe that it's representative of all the prophets that are on the scene today. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Because, because here's why I want to, I want to show you why okay. I'm going to share my screen. And when we go here, so it says, because a lot of, a lot of people in, from the Hebrew Israelite persuasion think that there's going to be two witnesses as well. But some say it's the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. But we say it's it's the prophets. So um, it says they're dead bodies. So you take this to be literal, that Moses and Elijah is going to come and be killed? Correct. Okay. And now it says three days and a half, and then their bodies won't be buried. Yeah. It, it'll be very similar to Yahushua's ministry in terms of the length, 1260 days. 
then their bodies will be left there. You know, he was resurrected. So that three and a half days, I take as literal. I believe I believe the Hebrew Israelite. I don't want to put you, in, you know, generalize what your view is, but I believe you you believe that's representative of a longer time period, right? Yeah, yeah, the uh, 350 years from uh, 1619 to 1968. Right, okay. So, I mean, just as a thought, I guess, I'm sure you've thought about this, but I take all of Revelation 11 absolutely literally. I believe they will be here feet on the ground in America for 1260 days. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, the reason that matters for slavery, it'll change the, it'll change the interpretation of those verses where the elector, harming people that's why i brought that up because it'll change the way at least i teach that those to be are to be understood okay so wait re rephrase what you just said um well you know so while you're mentioning this in reference to uh slavery in the kingdom right so the way the way i'm i was told the way i teach is that the lector taken away when uh, the two witnesses are brought here and then they return 1260 days later to administer, like to be part of Christ or Yahushai and uh, the angels fighting, you know, this war in space that you, that I think is kind of understood the way it will happen. And so the, whenever it says that Christ or Yahushai will return with his elect, they'll return then. So they're taken away, you know, and then so there's a lot of verses that I used to support the fact that God's elect will be taken away prior to, you know, um shtf you know stuff getting really bad right right okay um but what about jacob's trouble uh jacob's trouble i believe we're going through that now no so you believe right now is a time like never been ever in the history of the world yeah because the deception and i believe we're living in revelation 12 which is a time of deception where god is trying to deceive the elect and so you believe that you, you, you don't believe that it can get any worse than what's going on today? No, no, it's going to. It's called the Great Tribulation, according to Yahweh Shai. And okay. that's coming. Yeah. Now, who will be saved out of that? Prior to that, it will be the elect. No, 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 no. It said, okay, it said Jacob's trouble yep. is going to happen. But Jacob's trouble, the Israelites will be saved out of Jacob's trouble. Not, not that they will be saved and then Jacob's trouble happens. Yeah. That's why I said it's happening now. Okay, so are the elect on the scene today? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so the elect will be saved out of Jacob's trouble then. Right, and then after that period begins what Yahushua calls great tribulation. And that's when the two witnesses are here tormenting the earth with Revelation 16. Okay, so are the two witnesses going to be born? I don't know. That's the part I wasn't I wasn't told. I don't know how that will work, honestly. I have well, no idea. You keep saying you were told something. Who's telling you this? On the first day of this year, I was given the sequence of the end times. By who? I, I mean, if it happens, it was from the most high. Okay. So did you receive it by way of when you were studying, you you, yeah. you had an epiphany or a dream, vision? No, I think just all the all the chapters in Revelation were put in sequence, and then I was told that those two witnesses are literal men. Okay. So that because it would be a problem if it's Moses and Elijah, which you say is literal, yeah, and, and they're able to be killed, then that would mean they would have to be born. Uh I mean, or yeah, I mean that that that's the supernatural event because the elect will be taken away, right? So this we're obviously dealing with a very supernatural event. So okay. yeah, 144 are taken away, and then two men are brought here, and then they're going to be chastised. Okay, so these two men. Why does it make how does that make sense though that the 144 get taken away and yeah. then two witnesses, some of the most powerful witnesses, pro prophets, God said that John was Elijah and that nobody was even greater than Elijah that was born mm -hmm. to have come here and not be a part of the 144 just to suffer uh more tribulation well that's that you know how the disciples were de debating who's the greatest you know then then you know how i said those two those two seats are taken right and that these are the two people so i put them even above the 24 elders so it's like how i them to the 24 elders and then the 144,000. so okay. okay so um rob if you want to interject you can whenever you want to uh, but it was says verse 12 mm -hmm. three days and a half you take that literal and then yeah. verse 12 
and they heard a great voice from heaven saying, "Come up hither." And so, and their enemies beheld him. Yeah. The same hour was a great earthquake. Yeah, what? and if you if you read Revelation sixteen, that's the exact same earthquake. That's the same earthquake. Okay. Yeah. Do you believe this to be a literal earthquake? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. And the tenth part of the city fell. What's the tenth part of the city? That would be referencing America, just because they'd be here. Why is they calling it the tenth part? That part, I'm not sure. Actually, um, I don't know. I don't know actually what that specific phrase means. Okay, and they were slain seven thousand men. You take that to be literal. Yeah, and the remnant are in the Middle East. They're in Second Ezra. They're in Arzareth. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, okay. So, so it's that strong. They felt it. The now, 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 you said the tenth part is all of America. But only 7,000 men died, and you're taking this to be literal. So out of 350 million people here in America, and if this is literal, there's going to be an earthquake that rocks all of America and only 7,000 people die? That's, I mean, that's a, good, that's, a good, that's a good point. But, yeah, I would take that literally, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, Revelation is, is an allegorical, metaphorical book. Um, I don't... I don't a lot of people are going to see things differently in the book of Revelation. Some are going to see it literal. Mm -hmm. uh, so, some aren't going to. Um, Rab, you, you wanted to say something? La, uh, so lucky. Like so lucky. Like okay. I, I thought I heard you. So, yeah, uh, I, I don't see it your way, but there's plenty of people that do see it your way. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I would say um, at the end of the day, you being an Elamite, where do you fit in with with this understanding, or where uh, are you in this? I could be a confusion of face. When when I was when I first started watching Zabak and his videos years ago, I, I accepted it within a few days or a, a week or so. Like I understood that the so called Negroes, and I understand that the tribes are um, scattered and all that, but I, I accepted that as as truth. So mm -hmm. that, well, that that is you biblical. Could be. You could be. Uh, I believe Isaiah 11 speaks about Elam. There could there's scattered Israelites everywhere. So yeah, uh, your best bet is to just pray and hope and keep the laws and statutes and commandments to your best ability. So um, where does it say that in the Bible, by the way, to keep it for the best of your ability? Well, being that we're in exile, yeah, and, and the Bible says that we will be eating our bread undefiled. I'm sorry, defiled. Mm -hmm. Also parallel, not parallel, but to reference uh, Judges 5 and 11 to re yeah. rehearse the righteous acts. Yeah. Um, even with our temple, our temple is down. So certain things that happen, like certain holy days, we're supposed to be at the temple giving offering. So but that doesn't mean because you can't keep some things properly that you just don't keep any. That's what the Christian church doesn't understand. Fair enough. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah. So that's why we say to the best of our ability. So like you guys. Like this mask stuff and and all that. Do you, do you guys recognize that's Job nine twenty four? He covers uh, the faces of the judges thereof. <laughs> I mean, I would I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, but I could see why why you would say that. But just for people to think about Job nine twenty four nine plus twenty four is thirty three. I believe we're living in that time. This is a this is a masonic. This is a massive satanic ritual. Essentially, what's going on with all this? We call it Corolla virus, so we don't get shut down. But mm -hmm. uh, I believe I believe God is telling us that that's not what we're supposed to do, and so okay. that's why I know we're in the last days because would they elect wherever they are are going to refuse all of that? They're not going to do that. Yeah, you know, I was um, I was a uh, because in Seattle, you know, sometimes we'll go and we'll you know we'll have a beer or have a drink or play some pool and but the bars close early due to the the virus, so mm -hmm. uh, only thing that's open is um uh, is like the casinos, so mm -hmm. they're making they're making ton of money right now. So we go to the casino and uh, you know the security at the casino, they are stressing the fact. You not only have to wear it, but you have it has to be covering your nose. And they tell you they will come up to you and say, "Cover your nose, or we're gonna kick you out." Jeez, right? So yeah, we understand that is 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 definitely the end times, and yeah, Lord, Lord willing, it doesn't get better. And I know people are like, "What do you mean?" We hope it doesn't get better because the destruction of this place is the rise of the new kingdom, which is our kingdom. 
So, all right, man, let me get a couple more people on, man. We'll see you 